so listen on this morning we are talking about supernatural provision in god's plan my god my god he paid my way through bible college we talking about a god who had a plan before i was born he had a plan before you was born my god are you hearing me and he wants you to know this morning there is supernatural provision in god's plan morning prayer with pastor sean pinder Oh, come on and sing it with me on this morning. Holy, 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 holy are you, Lord. Come on and sing it to Him. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Come on and sing it to Him. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed. We worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Come on and sing it to him. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Come on and worship him this morning. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Listen, you know, right in the middle of us singing there, someone's receiving a miracle of healing right along their right knee going all the way down into that right ankle. From your right knee going all the way down into your right ankle. So I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. I mean, the Holy Ghost is right there. The miracle's happening. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. Check that, check that right leg. Sharp pain shooting down from your right knee all the way down into that right ankle. The pain is gone. Check it. We want you to check it, and I want you to type below this video. And let us know that was you, your name. Let us know how long you had that problem. Let us know if you were on medication. If you were seeing a doctor, be very specific. Give all the details. But you are healed right now. You are completely healed. There's no more pain there. You had that pain shooting from your right knee all the way down to the bottom of your right ankle. I mean, you are healed. Check it. I rebuke it. I rebuke out in the name of Jesus come out of their legs come out you devilish chronic pain I curse you I command you to come out and never return into that right leg again in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the elders and angels bow the redeemed we worship you now someone's happy there's no more pain it's gone you are healed Come on and sing it with me on this morning and rejoice. Holy, 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 holy are you, Lord. Come on and sing it to the King on this morning. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you now. Holy. Holy, holy are you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people on this morning. We lift him up before the throne of God. Minister to them, touch them, encourage them, strengthen them. And we pray that you let them know on this morning that there is supernatural provision in God's plan. There is supernatural provision in the plan of God. Be at peace, your God will make a way. The Apostle Paul said, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. God's got you. I say, God's got you. In the name of Jesus, someone say, Amen.
Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. So listen, on this morning, we are talking about supernatural provision in God's plan. My God, my God, he paid my way through Bible college. We talking about a God who had a plan before I was born. He had a plan before you was born. My God, are you hearing me? And he wants you to know this morning, there is supernatural provision in God's plan. So this brings us to the book of 1 Kings chapter 17 on this morning, beginning at verse 1 through 9. Listen to the word of God. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. In other words, he said, because of your wickedness, you're not going to have any rain. So he rebuked him just in obedience to God. And I love this because if he said there's not going to be any rain, there's going to be a famine in the land. And if there's going to be a famine, we need God to take care of his folks. Are you listening to me? Now, I'm not talking about this pandemic. I'm not saying this pandemic is from God. Don't you get it? Don't get this t- twisted this morning now. Amen. But but this this happened in the days of Elijah. But I want you to see how faithful God is because he said in the time of famine, you'll be satisfied with bread. That's the God I serve. So when we get to verse two, the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came unto him saying, get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. God's directing this man and giving him specific directions. He is telling him exactly what to do. Are you listening to me? Verse 4, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed the there. Sometimes our provision is not coming the way we expect it to come. I said sometimes because we in the wrong place at the wrong time. You've got to be in God's plan. There is supernatural provision in God's plan. Are you listening to me? So God told Elijah when he go by the brook, I will send the ravens to bring him food. Now, you know, ravens are ravenous birds. They are stingy. They are greedy. They barely want to feed their own babies. Come on, somebody. And the ravens are going to bring me lunch. God will use a stingy person to bless your socks off if you put your faith in him. So verse 5, he says, So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwell by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. So Elijah went, I mean, this man moved there. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I, I want to be in the will of God. Elijah said, I might as well just set up, I might as well just set my tent up and just just make this place my home because while I'm here, the ravens is bringing me food. Watch this. So look what the Bible says in verse 6. And the ravens brought him the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and he drank of the brook man he i mean all he had to do is go reach his hand out and drink from that fresh water pond that was right there and then the ravens was dropping him bread and bringing him meat boy i talk, i mean listen here god got denny's and wendy's god got all these folks beat man <laughs> Burger King and all this with with their with their delivery service. Uber just come up with this stuff. Man, God's been delivering food. <laughs> he rained it down in the wilderness on the children of Israel whilst they were on their way to the promised land. Without a Walmart or a super target, God fed his folk in the wilderness. We serve a big God. Come on, talk back to me, somebody. I said we serve a big God. There is supernatural provision in God's plan. There is provision for the vision, my friend. So the ravens were bringing this man food every morning and every evening. He was eating him a good meal twice a day. Oh, you talk about the faithfulness of God. Look at verse 7. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him saying, Arise. Get thee to Zarephath, which belonged to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So as soon as 
God was ready for the ravens to quit bringing him bread and food there to move Elijah along to his next place of provision. God spoke to him and said, I want you to move and go to Zarephath for I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. God knows how to sustain you in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of an outbreak, in the midst of scary times. God knows how to help you get another job Many of you have lost your jobs, but we serve a faithful God. My God shall supply all your need. God knows how to get money to you, or he knows how to get you on a job that will provide the money that you need to take care of you and your family. This is a promise to all of his people, to his people who are serving him and worshiping him in spirit and truth. God promises to supply every need in your life. And also the Bible says in Psalms, in the time of famine, he will sustain you. The Bible says, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He is a faithful God. He is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. He knows how to make a way where there seems to be no way. Way maker. He's a miracle worker, saints. He knows how to take care of you. And he wants me to tell you, there is supernatural provision in God's plan. Me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith and we pray for you. The dilemma that you are in many of you are out of a job this morning and you are seeking bills are stacking high deadlines have come and gone you're beginning to be a little stressed out we pray for you this morning we cover you in the blood of Jesus we pray that God would give to you his supernatural provision he says in Isaiah 41 10 fear thou not for I am with you I will help you I will strengthen you I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness in Isaiah 43 18 and 19 he said don't remember the former things of old he says for I will do a new thing I'll make a way in the wilderness and I'll give you rivers in the desert that means when your back is against the wall God will make a way where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we bless your life this morning we bless you with health and strength and the supernatural provision of God the favor of God we pray that you would be extra sensitive to the Holy Spirit and allow God to lead you and show you where the provision is we pray that you would not become so fearful that you can't even think straight or hear the voice of God Jesus said my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow it's gonna be all right supernatural provision in God's plan listen to show your support for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. Our ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry Cash App account. The ministry cash up address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget. Me and Pastor Amy, we love you so much. We appreciate you. Subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the gray bell. Turn on your notifications. And because we send out a new morning prayer broadcast on a daily basis, we don't want you to miss a single one because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So right over here to my left, which is your right, there's some powerful videos that will be a tremendous blessing. They will build your faith. We love you. See you on tomorrow on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless. Bye-bye.